video. So go. Are we ready? Yeah. We're, we're running? We're ready to run. Turn on the AC so you guys don't check back there. Wow, this is neat. Really? This, yeah. What is that? It's a flip minnow. Hmm. So as you can tell, it's pretty quiet. It's very quiet. There's no combustion engine on board this car. It's all electric. <laughs> and the way that electricity yeah. is made it doesn't matter is, is, is basically you combine the video. hydrogen in the tanks okay. and oxygen in Where the air. Are you from? And when they Great. combine, they make water. And they also release a lot of energy. And we capture that energy as electricity. Okay. And that electricity cap drives everything on board the car, from the drive motor, which moves the car, mm -hmm. to the air conditioning, which is trying to keep us cool right now, but not doing the best job and um, windshield wipers and all that. It's all wow, that's electrical. It's smooth. Yeah, it's really smooth. And it's got pretty good pickup. Maybe with four people if you want to stab the problem a little bit. Can something go? Oh, it sure does. It's not bad at all. It's amazing. Yeah. Zero emissions. Zero emissions. All it does is put a little bit of water vapor out the tailpipe. That's amazing. That's it. And you can make hydrogen from natural gas. You can make it from electrolysis, which is when you run an electrical current through water. Mm -hmm. You can use um, solar energy to do that, wind energy to do that. You can make it from petroleum. You can make it from coal. You can make it from just about anything, anywhere. It's a really universal fuel. It's so amazing. people, you know, they're talking about foreign oil and you know, getting away from that. Well, you can make this on any continent. This, this is amazing. Is there going to be some kind of conversion eventually for conventional I'm vehicles? I'm not sure. I'm hoping I'm that not they sure. do. There's so many cars out there now that they're they're emitting so many pollutants that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's quite a bit of difference between this car and the conventional cars. I'm not sure how easy that conversion mm -hmm. would be. It might be more cost effective just to buy one of these mm -hmm. instead. I know they have some things out now where they're trying to, to generate hydrogen mm -hmm. to put into gasoline combustion engines. That's right. And it, and it seems, uh, it doesn't Watch seem like it's get effective yet, but... It's, uh, yeah, they're, they're working on it, and uh, it might be a good midterm solution. But, you know, at least for my company, Mercedes-Benz, mm -hmm. we think this is a good long-term solution. Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with, the, with the, uh, everything about it so far. It drives very, very nicely. Looks like we've got a semi-park right here. Okay. Sure. Are we going to stop and gas it up? <laughs> Pardon? Can we stop and gas it up? Uh, this car? Yeah. Um, we have see. to fuel it up somewhere along the we way. We will. I don't think the fueling truck is, is here just yet. Let's oh. go ahead and slip okay. through on the left side. Okay. Oh, he's old. Yeah, old. yeah, those are all the liquid refuelers there. In fact, that big white cylinder. Yep. It's full of about, I'm going to guess about two to 3,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen. They said well, you can get out and watch them fuel them. Oh, yeah? You, yeah, they said that... that yep, they, in fact, you see the, the, the hydrogen 7 up there on the ramp? Yeah, it's getting, it's getting fueled. fueled right now. So, they're all fueled on hydrogen, but you're taking it in in different formats? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, me? between um, the, the majority of the cars here, it all comes in as a gas. Yep. BMW takes it in as a liquid because they can get more in the tank. Oh, okay, that makes sense, sure. But you... they have to make it very, very cold to do that. In fact, hydrogen is only a liquid below 20 degrees above absolute zero. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult to get it to become liquefied. But once you do, then it's easy to store the hydrogen. So it just depends on, on, on the trade-off that you're willing to make. Um, I noticed when you let off the throttle, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's slow. It, is that regenerating? It's, that's regenerating okay. there. That's charging the battery as okay. you let off. Exactly. You can turn yep. that off if you, if, if, if you if the driver chose to. Mm -hmm. Or you let off the gas and you can coast. But you have to move the, the shifter knob uh, to, to I switch see. that. I felt it when I first go it. I said, yeah. I bet you it's regenerating electricity. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. In fact, if you watch the, the, the diagram here. Okay. If you were to get a little bit of speed and then let off the gas, okay. you can see that the motor would be charging. So if you want to wait for these cars to pull forward, so right now the fuel cell is operating us right now. Okay. That's awesome. That's. And if you don't get a chance to, to really experience it in this car, all of the fuel cell cars here are hybrids, and so mm -hmm. they, you can ask them to show you how it works on there. Sure. Too. Very, very, I was felt very lucky just to get a chance to get into one of the cars. Oh, uh, yeah, they're, they're, 
So underneath the hood, it's just... It, you're oh, good. here, let me, uh, let me show you. I've got one more brochure up front, and it looks like there might be a couple in the back. Yeah, is this on now? Yeah, here's where, the, here's a ghost diagram. Can you see this? Yep. All of these components here are underneath the floor. The only thing under the hood is the, the air box, the radiator system, the electric motor, the brake system, and the steering system. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Everything else is under the floor, so this is a really tight packaged car. How does um, it compare in weight, overall vehicle weight? In weight, this car weighs a couple hundred pounds more than a conventional diesel A-Class, which mm -hmm. is what this is. This mm -hmm. is an A-Class. Right. But um, it's... How far will it go on one fueling? On one fueling, this car will go 100 miles 100 because it holds the equivalent of about two gallons of gasoline on board okay. in terms of energy. So it gets, <laughs> it gets about 54 miles to the gallon. And wow. Our target goal is somewhere between 60 and 70. That's amazing. We think we can make it by the time we sell these in large numbers. What is, does anybody have a clue in the, what the ultimate end of, uh, cost of fuel is going to be once they get the infrastructure? Well, I've talked with a, a bunch of energy companies and uh, some government affairs people, and they say that, it's, that everyone expects that the cost of hydrogen will be about double the cost of regular gas, um, mm -hmm. roughly. And that's because the cars are twice efficient. Energy companies, you know, they're, they're, sure. it's, it's, it's not easy to make just yet, so mm -hmm. they're, they're trying that's to cool. recoup a little bit of the cost. But yeah, it's, 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 it's ballpark what we're paying now per mile. Wow. Thank you very well, much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Would you like a brochure? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.